Hi, everyone, and welcome to the 21 Day Mindful Movement Challenge. For today, I wanted to show you some really effective ways to balance and regulate your nervous system. This sequence is all about bilateral integration. So we're going to, you can do this one seated. You could also do it standing. Um, but we're going to just be doing a lot of movements side to side and some tapping. And we'll do our alternate nostril breathing today. So you don't need much equipment. We can just get started with wherever you are. Let's maybe begin with our three regulating breaths, inhaling and Oh. Exhaling with some kind of sound. Now, if you've ever wondered why they chant in yoga practices, um, it is because of this sound effect has a regulating effect on the nervous system, it stimulates the vagus nerve. So for our next two, why don't you go ahead and, and make a sound, maybe chanting om or just any note or tone that you feel drawn to. Oh. And it doesn't have to be om. It could be your favorite word like joy. <laughs> so let's do one more of those. Oh. And feel free to do a few more, um, particularly if you notice that the long vibration of the sound has any calming or soothing kind of effects in your, especially in your upper body, but anywhere in your body. And what we're gonna begin with is some rhythmic repetitive movements. And we wanna do these ones side to side if possible, though you could kind of go in a circle. But the idea, we're just gonna put our hands on the maybe middle of the chest and going into a side to side sway. Um, again, you could do circles. Just, I mean, really the, the movement itself actually doesn't matter. What really is important here is that you pick a movement you like, and you might need to track this a little bit in your system, a movement that you that feels sort of intuitively good or soothing or uh, natural, and that we repeat it over the course of a few minutes. So rhythmic, repetitive. These are, there's going to be three key ingredients we're going to focus on today. So rhythmic is one, repetitive is another, and the third is going to be cross the midline of the body, which we'll get to in a moment. But let's start with these first two. So we'll go for about a minute. And you feel free to close your eyes. Feel free to continue making your sound out loud if you find that useful. And whatever feels good. As you get into the repetition of it, what you may start to track for in your body is some emergent properties of that regulated state. You may begin to feel calm. You may begin to feel a sense of being centered or present. I, I, I'm tracking a, a sense of feeling uh, happy to see my cat. <laughs> it could be really anything. So let's take maybe 10 more seconds with that. And if it doesn't feel complete for you yet, feel free to pause here and keep going with this stage, the rhythmic repetitive movement. And if it does feel finished, what we want to do now is a movement now that's going to cross the midline of the body. So this could be a repeat of yesterday's work with the infinity loops. So you could draw the um, that sideways figure eight or the infinity pattern with the hand and go one hand and then the other, maybe three loops with one hand, three loops with the other hand. If you happen to be standing, feel free to go into a whole body sway like we did in yesterday's practice, that letting the hand lead and inviting the whole body to follow. 
and track your emergent properties here. How does this movement impact your body? And we'll go for one more minute in this direction. And just anytime the arm gets tired, go ahead and switch to the other side, three or four loops and then three or four loops. And it really doesn't matter to how big your movements are, as long as the movement crosses the midline of the body, you can do uh, teeny tiny circles in the middle with your hand. So you can do this on the micro scale and it'll be just as beneficial. So really pick how big or small you want that movement to be. But now we're gonna switch and go the other direction. So go back to the way that was easiest for you, the way that you kind of just automatically go to making your infinity loops, and then you're gonna go the other direction. So I usually pause in the middle. So if I'm going this way, I pause in the middle and then take it in the other way. It's a little bit easier to do the switch, but any way that works. So go in the opposite direction now and just track what changes and a little bit of, a little bit more work for the brain to do it backwards, which is really good for your brain. And then opposite direction on the other arm. Might even be harder, but just see what would be a good way to do it. Okay. And then let's do two more rounds each arm of our opposite way, whatever that way is for you. And you can add in your side to side sways. Maybe even at this point in the challenge, you can start to feel into boosting those creative circuits of the brain again and imagining your finger pains and really feeling into what would that be like? What would those infinity loops look like? If you were finger painting, would they be sparkly and gold? Would they be purple or pink or green? Would they be a color you've never seen before ever? And once you've finished with your infinity loops, you can come on back to just settling into your seat. And now we'll do another bilateral integrative movement practice, but this one's gonna be subtler. So what we're gonna do is clasp the thumbs and butterfly the hands. They're kind of making a butterfly out of your hands. So once you have that, you're gonna bring your hands to your chest and we're just gonna tap alternating sides. And with this one, it doesn't really matter how fast or slow. The idea is that we're doing consistently right, left, right, left, right, left. And we're giving a tactile sensation now for the nervous system to track. So, and also if the butterfly fingers doesn't work, you can always just tap on the arm or tap on the legs. As long as you're getting right, left, right, left in some kind of rhythmic and repetitive um, motion or trend. And you can also bring back in your side to side sway, but just see if you can keep it really subtle. Um, that last bit's optional. So if you'd rather be still in the body and just tap, that's also really great. And we'll go for a minute with this one. Just going at your own pace, right, left, right, left, right, left. and begin to start to track on the inside for any subtle or loud emergent properties. What shifts and changes all on its own. Um, and then we'll just go back to how we started with hands on chest and side to side sway. Maybe you're going to bring your whole body into a bit of an infinity loop or your elbows into mini infinity loops. And when that feels complete, coming back to center and letting yourself settle into stillness. 
I'll take a moment to notice any changes here. And being more focusing today on bilateral integration and that balance between the, the right and the left, we can do a bit of alternate nostril breathing to that effect and how we would do alternate nostril breathing for the purpose of balancing is that we would switch right, left, right, left, um, kind of in the same way as the tapping. So you can use your hands. And I, I think for the purpose of today, it might be helpful to bring the finger up. And if closing the nostril physically doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can just bring a finger up just to touch the outside of your nostril, just to remind you what side you're on. So how we'll do alternate nostril breath today is we'll inhale through the right nostril. And then we'll exhale through the left nostril. And then we'll inhale again through the left nostril and exhale through the right. This time we're kind of switching each time. So we'll, I'll talk you through it. Inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right. Basically we're switching e with each breath cycle, inhale right, exhale, switch to left, inhale left, exhale, switch to right. I'll just let you go on your own here for a couple of minutes and really check in to see how would it be really good and right for you to do the breath where we're just focusing on one side, switching to the other side. Remember, you don't have to physically block off the nostril. It's more of a focused attention kind of thing anyway here. Just bringing your awareness over to one side. Let's go for one more minute. At the end of every inhale is when we switch to the other side. And at the end of every exhale, we go back in the same side. And what you may notice is just that taking that time to really um, focus on what side you're on, focus on the hand movements. The mind begins to get calmer and more quiet and more settled. Let's do three more cycles. We're going to switch at the end of your inhale. And why don't we end with the opposite? So on your next time that you exhale out your left, maybe inhale in your left, and then we'll exhale out of both and return to normal, easy, natural breathing. <sighs> Let's take a moment or two here just to get curious about your internal experience in this moment. 
if you can track for any emergent properties of doing integrative and regulating movements and breathing. Is there a way to just to bring that into a word or two? Maybe what arose for you was calm or quiet or energized or settled. And when you have your word, whatever it is, whatever has emerged, if it's something you would like, to steep in, to kind of marinate in a little bit more, what I'll invite you to do next is to rest into your comfortable posture and repeat your word three or four times to yourself to just see if saying the word and really noticing what that's like. And does it deepen the experience of it for you? If whatever the emergent property was, was something you don't want to steep into, then choose a different word. Choose something like love or peace or joy. Anything that you'd like to cultivate or grow more of. Each time you repeat the word to yourself, take a moment to get really curious about how that quality grows or shifts or changes inside of you. I'll give you one more minute. And feel free to really take your time with this part. Feel free to continue your meditation no longer. So often once we have regulated and facilitated that integrated brain state and integrated nervous system state, the process of meditation now becomes quite a bit easier and more simple. So I'd love to invite you to just hang out and enjoy that. And hopefully this is a practice that will be useful for you all the time. So I really look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And with that, a namaste to you.